And now, it's time for another Dice Tower review with Tom Vassell. Hi, welcome to Dice Tower. This is my dad, and I'm Melody Vassell. We're going to be reviewing Quicks. Quicks! A quick game! Ha 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 ha! Okay, Quicks is a game that was nominated for the Spiel des Jahres. It's a game in which you roll dice and check off numbers. That sounds like there's not a lot in the game. That may or may not be true. Let's take a look. This is the whole game here, really. Each player gets their own sheet here, which are nicely colored, and there's a set of dice. Now, the way this game works is, let's say it's your turn. You get to go first. You roll the dice. Since it's your turn, I only can concern myself with the two white dice that are rolled. You've rolled a nine. I'm allowed to mark off a nine on any of the numbered lines on my sheet. Now, when I look at these nines that are here, you'll notice that uh, the, this goes from 12 to 2, this goes from 2 to 12. If I mark off a 9 here on green, let's say I'm dumb enough to do that, okay? That means from now on, when I mark off any numbers, they have to be lower than 9. I can never go to the left here of 9. So the 12, 11, and 10 are dead to me forever. Now, if it was my turn, I do the same thing. I roll the dice, and I look and I say, oh, 4. 4 seems reasonable, so I'm going to pick the 4 of red. Now, I can take one of the white dice and mix it with one of the colored dice, and I can also use that number. So, I would say, well, three and one, I already picked the four of red, but here's a three and a one of yellow. I'll take the four of yellow also. So, I mark here the four of yellow, and now it's your turn. And so, you roll the dice, and you've rolled an eight. Well, I already took the nine of green, why not take the 8? That's an easy one for me. Then it's my turn again. And I roll here, and I got a 5. Fantastic on the white dice. I'll take the 5 of red, and uh, I don't know. I could take the 9 of blue. Uh, oh, the 7 of green. How convenient. So I take that. Now, this is the way the game continues to work. If you ever roll, and you can't take a number, which will happen as you get farther and farther down, there'll be numbers you can't take. Then you need to mark one of these spots down here. You've just failed. <laughs> okay, the game will end when one person, when two colors have been locked off. A color is locked off when you roll, let's say I rolled a, a 12 of red for some reason, and I already had the 8, 9, and 10 knocked off. So I've had at least five others in that row knocked off. I then did 12. At that point, I declare red locked. Red dies out. No one else can do red. When two colors are locked, the game will end. Or when one person has done all four of these down here, the game will also end. At that point, you will score. When you look down here at the scoring, you'll, you go to each row. If I have five marks in a row, that row is worth 15 points to me. If I manage to cross off everything in that row, including the locked marker, which counts as one of the things cross off, I would get 78 points. That would be incredibly amazing if you could pull that off. And then each one of these marks that you have down here is worth minus five points. So let's say I had six marked off in the red row, I'd get 21 points there. Five in the yellow row, 15 points. Four in the green row, I would get 10 points. And six in the blue row, I get another 21 points. And then I missed all four of those, so that's minus 20. So 11, uh, 26, 46, I would have a total of 47. Highest score is the winner. Of course, I just made up all those numbers, but whatever. I'm sure I would have done better than that, I hope. All right, quicks. A quick game, now, no pun intended, really. It's a very simple game. Roll the dice, mix and match, write the numbers, and there's not much else. What'd you think of it? Um, it was an okay game, except that you always did the same thing over and over again. Um, but it was fun to try to like get the numbers that you need and laugh at the person when they had to cross off the thing. Um, I, I don't. Minus five. I don't find that as fun as some. Um, <laughs> yeah, but she's right though. It's just the same thing over and over, cross, cross, cross. And it's an interesting idea. I've played these puzzle games. I have. Uh, uh, what were you thinking? I mean, not what were you thinking, but I have. Um, 
oh, the, I don't remember the names of them, where you, you mark things off. We played games like this before where you had to write down the numbers when I drew the tile from the bag. Yeah. Um, and, and you place these numbers in, in a row. And these games are more of a puzzly style game than they are a game. You could probably play Quicks with 2,000 people. Just read off the number and everyone crosses it off their list to some degree. Although you want to make your own matches. But it's really lucky. And it's kind of odd to be nominated for Spiel des Jahres. Because the Spiel des Jahres is supposed to be like the three best family games of the year. And would you think this is one of the three best family games of the year? No. Mm. Not really. I'm not, I'm not. You know what? I'm not really recommending this one. It's okay. I enjoyed it. But I don't ever feel like I want to do it again. What about you? Not really. Oh. There's a lot of kings out there, and this one would be pushed to the side. Yeah, I think so. It, it, it has an interesting concept. Um, take it to the limit. That's the game I was thinking of. It has that concept, but take it to the limit does it so much more interestingly enough where you take a tile and where do you put that on the board? Or the other game, Catch-22, whatever it was, where you wrote the numbers down. This is just, eh, 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 eh. That's my review. Eh. Your final thoughts? Not that good. Thanks so much for watching the Dice Tower videos. Find more great videos and reviews as well as our top-rated audio podcast at Dicetower.com. You can also find other great shows at Dicetowernetwork.com. I'm Eric Summerer, and you've been watching The Dice Tower. The Dice Tower is sponsored by Cool Stuff, Inc., where you can find great games for great prices. Cool Stuff, in stock. Check them out at CoolStuffInc.com. Shut the door. Yeah.